are you a tea drinker? Um, and if so, how do you take your tea? So traditionally, I would have said, no, I'm not a tea drinker. But moving to America and missing the smell of tea, I've started mm. drinking tea. Um, mm. Just kind of out of homesickness from the UK. <laughs> Oh, you know what, actually, I have, there's the, my favorite tea ever, actually, and I don't take, I was talking about just an English breakfast, a Yorkshire tea, that was what I was talking about, but actually my favorite tea is this Bengal spice by Celestial, and I have that with lemon and fresh ginger in it, that is my favorite tea. Such a, such a big pleasure for us to meet you. Um, I am Leroy LaRue and this is Tina Obo. Hi. Um, we are co-directors. <laughs> We're co-directors from um, the Sugarcane Man, which was nominated for uh, BAFTA last year in the student category. And we got to the third, we got to the finalist position, top three. And um, yeah, so this is how we got this amazing opportunity to talk yeah. with you today. And we're both like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> Congratulations to you guys that I mean I haven't seen it but I saw your video and I it has like you know bits of the film in it and it looks incredible and just such a huge su subject matter and in in animation form it's just brave brilliant bold like congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> That's so amazing to hear from you and like after watching some of your work and I'm a huge fan by the way. Me too. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Okay. <laughs> Wanna ask another question? Um, what yeah. is your favorite British film of all time? Oh, oh no. I can tell you my favorite one from this year. Yeah. <laughs> that works. That's what that works. I would say Rocks from this year was one of my favorites. Oh. I'm just trying to think. Best British. What are your best British films? She flipped it. Oh, oh wow. I, hey. mean, I, I haven't seen a lot of recently except for yours which i watched not too long ago um and i thought that was phenomenal i i, oh, I cried I did cry. yeah i cried yeah. when i read it i was just completely blown away by how um, like emotionally engaging and moving and then also like how terrifying it was like a, a horror film with heart also for you, like as an actress who played the role so well, like what did it mean for you? There's something so, so magical about that film because from that script, I thought I thought of myself as someone who has never, who, who I would say, you know, there's no such thing as an, an illegal immigrant. Everybody's legal. Everyone has the right and to, to have, live the life that they deserve and hope for and I just I went in in reading the script and and, and it, inhabiting real I realized like I hadn't I still hadn't humanized the 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 the, the terrors of being a refugee and um asylum seeker and uh, you know I hadn't humanized it I kind of had always done it intellectually and like you know I don't like borders I hate visas I hate all of that stuff because that stuff has affected my yeah. life yeah like directly as an you know immigrant from Nigeria and now an immigrant to the U.S. Yeah. Mm. Um, but really that trauma that those battle wounds of surviving that journey the 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 survivor's guilt mm. what they have to live with yeah. every day when they reached safety it's still they're, they're haunted mm. forever yeah. yeah and you know something I've never I've all, never got my head around is like 
why do people have to risk their lives? Because when they get here, they're allowed to be here. Why can't we just take them? Why can't we pick them up? Why do they have to risk their lives, their children's lives? Why? I've never got that, you know? Mm. So to me, it means, it means the world to me to, to, to for, for me, I grew by, because I had to do the research. I had to imagine and I had to feel it yeah. Um, yeah. as close to it as I possibly could. I mean, I can't, I can't, I came, you know. But you, you know. did an amazing like job, like, yay. It's the way you played, you know, your character. It's, it was beautiful. It was really beautiful to Thank watch. You so much. Uh, we have a few minutes left. I just, I want to ask one question. Um, um, I just want to ask, like, which acting techniques did you use um, in order to mentally prepare for your role? So, okay, so uh, my a dear mentor of mine, um, the late Bill Gaskell, he taught me at drama school in second and third year, and he gave me my first job out of drama school. And we stayed in contact up until he passed in 2016. And um, we were close friends, in fact. Um, I would just remember like he would do this thing, like he would do all these exercises in, in our room with, there would be nothing. There would be no sofa, there'd be no table, there'd be no nothing. And he'd walk into a room and he would do the scene and he would like, you, he would stop you like three or four words in. No, 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 do it better. And then he would be like, and he'd be like, I don't really get it. And he, <laughs> He wrote me this email, I want to say in like 20, when I was doing I Am Slave, 20, 2009. He said, you know what you need, if, because it's such a foreign like existence you're portraying, you really just have to believe it. Like you have to paint, paint the pictures in the room. You have to paint it. So we'd be in this bare room and he'd be like, what color are the cushions? I'd be like, what cushion? There's no, there's no sofa, there's nothing. Yeah. And it was about the painting, the, the oh, history, okay. painting the room. And he'd be like, what's your relationship to the cushions? Did your grandma give them to you? Did you buy them at um, Target? You know, like, we need to, you need to paint your relationship to everything, your clothes, your everything in that room. And, you know, he said to me, like, everything you have a relationship to everything and that's and your your character has a relationship to everything and you're a part everything that you are is because of everything you've encountered and also it's because of everything the people you've encountered have encountered so it's kind of this like you know this exponential thing of like tracing back why I am who I am right now when we meet the person in the script. So that's my method is kind of painting the story, the history, you know, does she play an instrument? You know, like all that stuff <laughs> build, kind of. Build the personality just, and the yeah, build the whys, why they're here and why they now behave how they behave from here on out. Personally, the only question I was wondering was like, what advice would you have for young people of color, especially black women, um, yeah. to persevere and to like, you know, create a, a, a career in our industry and the world, you know? Because as people from Africa, we, we come out into the world and we're like, it's such a big wide place and we really want to kind of explore that, you know? It's really interesting because I still I still see myself as new, as old as I am. <laughs> I still see myself as like really learning and and I find I find, you know, watching rocks, I was totally inspired by Bookie, totally and utterly inspired by that girl. I looked at her thinking, I wish I was like her when I was her age. So I still I'm looking at so it's inter it's hard to kind of know how to give advice when I'm learning from, I guess that's the advice is that you can't keep learning. Like when you look up to someone, mm. sometimes I find that it means that you think you can not look down, but like you meet, it makes you think that maybe you're better than some 
one else, right? Because mm-hmm. you're now saying that there's a hierarchy. And so I guess for me, yeah. what I try to do is take inspiration from the people who came before me, but also take inspiration from the people who are coming after me because I'm. you can learn in any environment, right? You can learn in any environment and you can draw from anywhere and to not have, to make sure that there's not like, to, to keep grounded and, 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 and know that you, yeah. no one's better or worse. People have more experience or less, but even in that, the, a person with less experience can like blow you away because they're fresh and they, yeah. they, they have this, they have this passion and hunger and this, and you know, so, but also like you belong, you belong. It's your industry. It's your industry too. And remember that it's yours. It's, you know, I still have to, I still have to remind myself that this is my industry too. I'm not just like, um, chasing something that doesn't belong to me it's mine it's ours it's ours mm. yeah oh we forgot to ask you do you have your 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 mug for i do yeah um, oh, actually on this your... side yeah a, a w. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that's a nice mug. <laughs> yeah it was a wedding a wedding gift Aww. shout out to maxine <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. oh wow I I just wanna, my <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just want to say as a, you know, I want to say as a fellow, you know, black woman, like I, when I see all the films you've done, I'm, I'm in awe and you inspire me, you know, to just go for it and not, not look at other parts, other directions. So uh, we are very humbled by this experience, by having this opportunity, you know, for, for BAFTA for giving us this opportunity to interview you because we've learned a lot and we just want to thank you. Thank you thank so you much. Are. I can I just say you guys inspire me. I, when I saw that little black boy with his gap in his teeth, yeah, in, I was like, <laughs> I needed this. I need this. I need this. And I didn't know there was a there was an animation school in Africa. I don't, I don't know where in Africa it is. Is it in, is it in South Africa? South Africa, Cape Town and Johannesburg, the animation school. Yeah. Amazing. Like it's inspiring. I mean, this, yeah. I'm, I've learned so much just by watching your short, like your two, two minute 10 YouTube hmm. video, like, and yeah. you inspire me. And don't forget that because you're inspirational too. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. That's so nice.